China shocked the whole world with this big oil discovery. Numerous notable discoveries in deep oil and gas exploration and development have occurred in China in recent years. In today's video, we are going to tell you all about China just announced its terrifyingly massive oil discovery, which will rewrite the course of history. China has recently made the largest oil field find in human history, shocking the entire world with its news. China's status as one of the world's top economies may be cemented by this discovery, which has the potential to alter the dynamics of the global economy. The study of life on the ocean floor has only lately started. According to scientists, many people are worried that the marine ecology and other complex natural systems could be destroyed by this new gold rush. Deep sea mining have significant effects on the ecosystems and biodiversity of the Pacific Ocean, similar to mountaintop removal coal mining in Appalachia. Scientists are still unsure of the full scope of the harm. Mining corporations intend to excavate the ocean floor using large automated machines similar to strip mining on land. When materials are pushed up to the ship and garbage and debris are dumped into the ocean, huge silt clouds build beneath the surface of the water. To go to processing facilities on land, the sludge is put on barges and transported there. That fragile marine life will be harmed by deep sea mining is a concern. Projects that pose a threat to aquatic animals like the Beck's petrel and Heinroth's shearwater, as well as mammals like the pygmy killer whale, sperm whale, spinner dolphin, and Cuvier's beaked whale are being contested. The destruction of life and alteration of the seafloor's natural contours at mining sites has a direct impact on clams, mussels, corals, tube worms, snails, xenophyophores, the larval supply, vital enzymes, and genetic resources. With no regulatory oversight and no public watchdogs, these activities are being carried out in a remote area. Oil and gas drilling in the water is almost universally viewed negatively. There are many reasons, however, to believe that it will benefit the nation overall. Offshore drilling may lead to economic expansion, a rise in reputation abroad, and environmental advantages. On the other hand, there are several reasons to infer that it has a favorable overall impact on the country. Oil extraction can have many positive effects, including advances to the GDP, global stature, and the ecosystem. That is, the country's oil industry continues to get consistent funding. This also depends on ongoing financial investment in domestic oil production. China, which has 61 drilling platforms, has now revealed a terrible new oil discovery that will alter the course of human history forever by locating the nation's first significant deep-water, deep-stratum gas field, Chinese scientists have made a significant scientific advancement. There is a gas field in the sea southeast of Hainan province with confirmed reserves that exceed 50 billion cubic meters. This is a significant advancement for the government's attempts to quicken deep-sea exploration, and sustaining its energy independence depends on this. The new gas field will be known as Bao Dao 21-1, according to a statement made by the China National Offshore Oil Corporation, or CNOOC. It was also the biggest development in drilling in the Songnan Bao Dao region in approximately 50 years. Deep water or waters that are deeper than 300 meters is where offshore oil and gas exploration frequently concentrates its efforts. Additionally, Deep wells are defined as being deeper than 3,000 meters. The Bao Dao 21-1 gas field, according to analysts, is located southeast of Hainan Island in a deep ocean location. It has a finished well depth of more than 5,000 meters and can operate at depths of more than 1,500 meters. It is also subjected to challenging marine geological conditions as a result of these variables. The success of Bao Dao 21-1 demonstrated the Bao Dao SAG's potential for additional exploration, according to Wu Keqiang, head geologist for CNOOC Hainan. He also cited China as having made important technological strides in the area of deep water drilling. It has significant implications for discovering more of these kinds of formations, according to researchers. 
China's deep sea and deep earth exploration technology, according to Lin Bokiang, director of the Ximen University's Center for Energy Economics Research, is among the greatest in the world. This discovery will, in her opinion, hasten the development of similar exploration tools, she claims. Furthermore, it provides a potential stage for the nation to demonstrate its cutting-edge technological capability. Lin also said that the recently found gas field would help secure China's energy supplies. This strategy will ensure that the government can meet the increased energy needs of its citizens, even as natural gas prices around the world continue to rise. Chinese ultra-deep water gas deposit Deep Sea No. 1, discovered independently by China, is allegedly 150 kilometers away from Baodao 21-1, according to CNOOC. Moreover, since Deep Sea No. 1 began operations on June 25, 2021, a news outlet reports that it has taken out more than 2 billion cubic meters of natural gas. Why is China creating so many offshore oil rigs then? Of course, oil rigs are good for the economy and the employment market, and the world as a whole will begin to reap the rewards of a thriving oil market. Transport, shipping, and other modes of mobility are essential for a nation the size of China. Additionally, decreased market prices for oil and gas have an impact on other sectors of the economy, bringing down the price of goods and services for consumers nationwide. The potential for it to save money for both consumers and small businesses is the cherry on top. Two of the most effective methods of obtaining crude oil are oil rigs and offshore drilling, which is advantageous to the sector as a whole. China has established two world records in the field of deep-sea energy exploration. China's Shenlong-3, a self-developed multifunction modular seabed trencher, was used to lay the country's first offshore pipeline project in Bangladesh, a project with a length of more than 100 kilometers, a first for sea land directional drilling and deep sea trenching behind the canal. The Belt and Road Initiative is responsible for carrying out this project. Additionally, six directional drills must be used to travel 11.9 meters underground in order to avoid commercial and naval waterways. This is an unprecedented task in the history of world maritime engineering, said the designer of Shenlong 3. Furthermore, a depth of 5 meters below the seabed is already a problem for the offshore industry, according to Zhu Feng, general manager of the CPP, according to China Media Group. Moreover, he added, the typical depth is between 1.5 and 3 meters, Domestically created technology and apparatus for use in offshore oil and gas exploration have increased in production in China during the past few years. In addition, the country saw a growth in the amount of money and people going to the sector. Finally, after 12 years of study and development, CNOOC's Zhuangji was created, combining logging while drilling LWD, and rotary steerable drilling RSD, is a method that can be used to effectively explore for oil and gas offshore. According to CNOOC, China's most fruitful offshore oil field is the Zhuangji oil field. Furthermore, the system's accurate drill control allows for exact targeting of the oil layer from thousands of meters below the surface of the planet. Even more than a thousand meters of the 0.7 meter thin oil layer may be penetrated by the drill when it is remotely driven in this manner. Zhuangji also has the ability to perform stratigraphic analysis in real time, and in certain ways this contributes to a reduction in the cost of oil and gas exploration. Additional maritime oil and gas resources may be developed more quickly and cheaply as a result. Since the one platform that fell 100 feet China's offshore oil and gas exploration business has advanced. Six vessels with engineering skills for 3,000 meters below the surface have since been put into service in 2012. This occasion also signaled the start of China's rapid advancement of equipment for deep water oil and gas production. On June 25, 2021, Shenhai-1, 
a 100,000-ton semi-submersible platform for the production and storage of oil and gas off the coast of Hainan Province in China, started operating. The well generated more than 1 billion cubic meters of natural gas, according to its operator, CNOOC. On February 13, having been launched into the South China Sea on April 11, the Hai G-1, as Asia's tallest structure, this deep water jacket erected in China measures a height of 302 meters, 200 kilometers southeast of Hong Kong in the eastern South China Sea will be the operating range of the 30,000-ton Hai G-1. And for the first time, China has created a permanent jacket and placed it in this body of water. Additionally, this promotes the expansion of the Greater Bay Area, which includes Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau. Currently, 119 sets of maritime engineering equipment were made and transported in China in 2021, which represented for 55% of the equipment's global production and delivery, according to official data. Additionally, 273 offshore engineering vessels had been ordered by the end of March from local Chinese offshore engineering equipment companies and this represents 54% of the overall global total. Now that Russia is involved in a crisis in Ukraine, China's oil rigs are essential to preserving domestic energy and petrol prices. Things are currently looking fairly bright for the country, especially with the addition of Baodao 21-1. So what do you think of this new oil discovery by China? And what are your thoughts on rising fuel prices in the West? Just now our business and government organizations starting to implement projects that translate talk into action. Agents face difficulties that were not obvious during the theoretical stage as they go from theories to practice. It is becoming more and more clear that increased investment in natural resources is necessary for the transition to green energy. A study on the metal density required to build the first generation of electric cars and the power plants required to store intermittent electricity generated from renewable sources was recently released by the Geological Survey of Finland GTK. According to their estimates, there will be a need for nearly 1.39 billion EVs, more than 280 million tons of minerals, and an additional 2.5 billion tons of metals for power storage projects simply to meet the demands of one generation of electric vehicles. The world's resources of nickel, cobalt, lithium, and graphite are thought to be insufficient to support such a large undertaking. The availability of resources and their ESG properties will be considerably impacted by the current realignment of global power. The world's most biodiverse biome is found in Indonesia which is also the top producer of nickel. The biggest and most economical nickel mine in the world is run by Nornickel, a Russian company. China mines 60% of the world's graphite, controls a large portion of the DRC's cobalt output, and operates the world's largest refineries for lithium, nickel, sulfate, manganese, and graphite. Hainang mining stock price increased by the daily maximum following the news of a substantial discovery at its crude oil and natural gas project in the South China Sea. Chinese conglomerate Fosun International is a backer of the oil field developer Hainan Mining. The Changjiang-based company also said that the drilling experiments had resulted in a particularly fruitful oil flow of more than over 1,000 barrels per day. 2015 saw the signing of a partnership contract for the block between the Australian oil and gas company Rock Oil and CNOOC. As a result, Rock Oil currently owns 50% of the project. 2019 saw the sale of 51% of Rock Oil by Fosun International Hainan Mining, giving Fosun a majority stake in the company. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.